Hello and welcome to my channel and today in this video we are going to create this glossy text animation in Adobe After Effects. I am very happy to create my 50th After Effects tutorial and also I would like to thank you for being here and supporting me. Thanks for those 200 plus subscribers who have subscribed to my channel and supporting me. To create this glossy text animation as usual first of all create a new composition I am calling it as main with the frame rate of 30 and a duration of 5 seconds. Import the project files. The link is in the description. You can download. These are some video files like uh, flashers, lens flash, smoke. Once imported bring them into the timeline. First of all the background. Press us to bring up the scale property and reduce the size to fit to the composition. Bring in the fog file and same way reduce the scale value to fit the composition. Now change the blending mode of the fog file to add. Now go to the effects and presets panel and search for tint effect and apply it into the fog file. Same way search for curves effect and apply it into the same layer change the RGB curves individually as shown copy these two tint and curves effect and paste it into the background one layer now for the text create a new text layer and type in your text Central in the text. Open up the text layer and click on animate and choose enable per character 3D. Now again click on the animate button and choose rotation. At the 2 second mark create a keyframe for Y rotation and go to the start of the timeline and change the Y rotation value to 90 degrees. Now select the two keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them. Open the graph editor and change the graph as shown. Now pre-compose the text layer and call it as text placeholder. Now bring in the reflection map and reduce the size of the image file to that of the text layer. Adjust the position as you wish. Go to the effect and presets panel and search for motion tile effect and apply it into the reflection map image file. Increase the output width and output height to the values around 1300 and make sure you click on mirror edges. Bring down the reflection image down below the text placeholder and at the start of the timeline create a keyframe for tile center. Go to the end of the timeline and change the exposition of the tile center as shown. Now pre-compose the text layer and make sure you click on move all attributes and click OK. Now change the track mat of the reflection map to alpha mat text placeholder. Go to the effects panel and search for CC glass effect and apply it into the reflection map composition. Open up the surface option and change the bump map to text placeholder. Set the softness to 50 and set the height to minus 50. Set the displacement to minus 500. Open up the light option and change the light type to point light. Also change the light position as shown. Search for CC blob lace effect from the effects and presets panel and apply it into the same reflection map composition. Open up the blobbiness option and search the blob layer to text placeholder. Set the softness to 10. Set the cutaway to 5. Open up the light option and change the light type to point light. Also change the light position as earlier as shown. Copy the tint and curves effects from the fog layer and paste it into the reflection map composition. Select the text placeholder on the reflection map compositions and pre-compose them. Name it whatever you want and make sure you click on move all attributes. 
set the blending mode of the complete text composition to add. Now bring in the flashes file into the timeline and increase the scale to fit to the composition. Set the blending mode to add. Now create a new null object and parent the complete text layer to the null one. Make these two layers 3D and press P to bring up the position of the null one layer. At one second 20 frame mark, create a keyframe for position and go back in time and set the position value to somewhere around minus 2600 so that the text layer disappears. Now move the keyframe to the start of the timeline. Now offset the flashes file to around 20 frames. And bring in the lens flare file into the timeline. Place it below the complete text layer and change the blend mode to add. Now paste the tint and curves effects into the lens flare layer. Now adjust the position of the lens flare file to whichever letter you want. Duplicate the lens flare file and adjust the position to another letter. Increase the scale size so that it fits the composition. Now also offset the lens flare file to 1 second 20 frame mark. Now let's ramp review this. Yeah, that's it. Let's look good. Hope you like this video. Hope you enjoy the video. Hope you learned something. You can download the project file from the link in the description down below. Once again, thanks for being here and supporting me. Thanks for watching. This is Raudran signing off.